Hello, Marist alumni, and welcome to our moment of prayer together. We're living through a rather uh, extraordinary experience here. On the one hand, we have uh, isolation and fear, we have sickness and we have death. And yet on the other hand, we have the opportunity to see tremendous heroism and generosity and even some religious uh, awakenings in people. I've been using two lines from scripture kind of for my daily mantras as we travel through this experience. I offer them to you because they might be something that would be of help to you. The first is though that I walk through the valley of darkness, I fear no evil for you are beside me with your rod and your staff. And the second one is God is our refuge and our strength. Someone sent me the prayer that we're going to pray together today, but I don't have the author, so I can't give uh, anyone credit for the prayer. Confident, <clears throat> confident of God's presence here with us, let's bow our head in reverence. Lord, when evil darkens our world, give us light. When despair numbs our souls, give us faith. When nothing seems right or sure, give us trust. When we feel we're losing it, be our guide, that we may feel peace and calm, knowing that no matter what we face, we are in your presence, that you are with us and you are for us. Lord, we lift up in prayer Ben Luder of the class of 2013, and William Tucker of the class of 88. Grant them both, Lord, eternal rest and give strength and hope to their families. This is our prayer, Lord, and to it we can all say together, Amen. I encourage you to give a little bit of time in uh, your day, each day, to pray for your families, to pray for your loved ones, your friends and neighbors, also, remember to pray for the elderly and for people who have, um, have compromised health situations. And let's all say a loud shout out to God for our health care workers, our nation, and one another. Be strong, Marist. Peace.